everyone. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and that you are taking precautions to help others stay safe and healthy as well. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing a little bit of an insecurity and that is sight reading. In order to grow as a musician, the thing that I need to do is be a little bit more vulnerable and be willing to put myself out there and to share music no matter if what I play holds up to the picture of perfection that I have in my head because it rarely is. And at the end of the day, the whole point of playing music is to share it with others or to give the gift back to God because he's the one who gave it to us in the first place. Today, I wanna share some hymns with you. Hopefully they can be an encouragement to you during this time. This is the book I'll be playing from today. It's Sacred Solos and Songs, written by Margaret Goldston. This is one of my favorite sacred books. This is one that I played out of when I was doing hymn competitions back when I was in middle school. There are two parts of the book. On one part, there are easier arrangements of what you would find in a hymnal. So it's a great introduction to hymnal playing. The other side of the book is soloistic hymn arrangements, and they are absolutely beautiful. They're perfect if you're an intermediate pianist and you wanna play for church, or you just wanna play a beautiful hymn. And they're perfect for somebody like me who needs help sight reading. If you need a sacred solo book, this is the perfect way to go. This is a really weird time. I just encourage you to cling to the Lord through this and to look for the blessings that he's given you because even though the things that are going wrong are real, we have the power to decide how we're gonna react to it. And so I encourage you to take a stance of praise. So this is why I would really like to share some of these hymns with you today. They are not meant to be perfect. They're not meant to be amazing. They're just meant to be in worship to the Lord. And I hope that it will be a reminder that through all of this uncertainty, God is there whether we feel him or not, and that you can find some worship time in this as well.
Thank you again, everyone. I'm really gonna be trying to post videos a little bit more regularly since I have time. So they're gonna range from a variety of musical and non-musical activities. If you enjoyed this video, there will definitely be more similar to this. So like and subscribe and comment below what your favorite hymn is. Thanks everyone, and I will see you next week.